Hello, Empire. It's your colony. <laughs> um, chances are you're probably aware of the, amongst the wonderful things that we owe you for, a parliamentary system, tea, weight and kills. What we also have is a shameful and crushing relationship with the original owners of our land, Australia's Indigenous people. I would like to believe otherwise, but realistically, when and if the globe pay, pays attention to my country, it's often for issues that are radically separate from what I believe is good. Within that context, last week I witnessed a moment of profound, startling and exciting exchange between a mostly white audience and a mostly Indigenous cast. There's an important Australian company called Big Heart and their most recent production, Namajira, an exploration of the life of our most famous Indigenous painter, Albert Namajira, is currently playing at the Malthouse Theatre in Melbourne. Sorry, I'm just going to let that breath drop right down. <laughs> Um, in the title role, Trevor Jamison is a phenomenon. His performance is incredibly generous, whilst remaining politically charged. When the lights came up after the show last Saturday night, and bear in mind that it ends with Albert's premature death, the audience was so profoundly engaged with the, wor with the work that they actually stormed the stage. It was amazing. The audience had to be inside that space where something vital had occurred. They needed to feel the resonance. I've never seen that in the theatre, I've only seen it on a football field. For the past year or so, I've been asking my artists to explore the twin concepts of generosity and urgency in their practice. My theory, and up until last week it was only that, was that insisting upon genuine, heartfelt and passionate curiosity about other human beings might result in work that was properly relevant to a world where relentless individualism, constant competition and tumultuous indecision pervades. I keep trying to articulate this generosity in art, not really as a kind or warm fuzzy thing, nor as a sort of introverted rehash of relational aesthetics, but rather as something that has a strong political edge, that involves a sacrifice of the self, and that is noble. It's not about giving away shit for free, and it's not about assuming that you're, it's not about not assuming that you're the most interesting thing in the room. It is about demanding the hearts and minds of all who are present, whether they be artists or audiences, and constantly asking, who's not here? There's three more thoughts that I'd like to give you, which is cheating. Um, the first one is, how can we put in place structures that ensure the ideas, feelings, concepts, and motivations of work is what is discussed and, sh and shared over and above the, is it good and do we like it? The second is that gathering is one of our most vital, dynamic, and contentious actions as arts makers. And we've got to break this down to its core principles and re-examine what it means online, in public space, and in the focused traditional context, context that we've used for centuries and will continue to use. And the third, and I, t I tentatively suggest that spontaneity, disruption, intervention into public space on artistic terms is more crucial than ever before. 